have come to worship you only, King of Kings, Zion of Judah. We have come to worship you only.
Kono. Yes, we are blessed and we are privileged to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. As we are going in the mood of worship, let us say yes to his will. Amen. Amen. Whatever he has planned for the rest of the remaining days of this month, yes, let us say yes to his will. Yes, Amen. God. That the, uh, the days remaining, it won't be a January, but it will be a January. Amen. Yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, let us say yes to his will. Let us accept whatever he gives us. If it is from him, we accept in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
give us our trespasses as if for be those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, the praise and worship team, and thank you, the intercessor. This time, we're going to hear our reading. Our reading comes from the book of Matthew 6, 25 to 33. Our word comes from the book of Matthew 6, 25 to 33. And it says, And therefore, therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body then remained. Behold the flaws of the air, for they sow not, neither do, do they reap, nor they gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. You are ye not much better than they. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for lament? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil, not neither do they spin. And they say unto you, Then that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore it is God so clothed the grass of the field, which do is unto, un, unto morrow is cast into the oven. Shall he eat not, not much more clothe you, your ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where? With all shall we be clothed. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father, who knoweth that ye have been for all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. My name is James, and Jesus is my personal Savior. Thank you for that. At this time, to Tasimama and sing him number 115. I surrender all. 115.
that you may speak to each one of us. We are gathered to your house, O Lord, with an hand to hear from you, and therefore you are seeking that you may direct us to the working of glory, so that you may be able to listen to your word this morning. We thank you because of giving us the word from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25 to 34, that we may seek your kingdom first, instead of seeking other things of this world. Therefore, Lord, may you speak to us. Use me as a vessel to deliver your word. For this is the humble prayer of faith through Jesus Christ our Lord. Shall we sit down? Good morning. Good morning again. God is good all the time. Indeed, God is good and that is his nature. And we are glad to come to his house this day, beginning the beginning of the month, or at the middle of the month of January. I want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Indeed, we thank God because we have been given an opportunity to be alive to witness the year 2022. Therefore, we have a testimony. Each one of us, we have a testimony. We have something that we can lift up to God because of being given an opportunity to be alive. There are many people who would have desired to be like the way you are today, being in good health, that they can even walk and come to church, and they are not able to do that. When you find yourself today in the church, when you find yourself regardless of what is happening outside, of what is happening, it is always good to give thanks to God. I am Susan Nina. I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my savior and I desire working with him daily in my life. Today we are sharing the ones from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 25 to 33. And our main verse for today is in verse 33. And it says, in verse 33, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all things will be given unto you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. This is a good verse because it is a summary of a discourse and discussion that was going on between the disciples and discussion that Jesus was assuring the disciples why they need not to worry. He had given a very good teaching when you look from verse 1, you, you, it, has, it is as if he was teaching them about the way of life. He taught them about giving to the Ninde. He also taught them how to pray. He also taught them how to fast. He also taught them how to put their treasures in heaven. And when he came to verse 25, because he realized that they were worried, they were very anxious, you are wondering what to do. You have to, con con to give them a verse that will make the summary of all what you have done to them. And this, that is why we get from verse 25, verse 33, that you have to assure them when they seek the kingdom of God, everything will be well unto them. And today we are gathered here because we are the disciples. We are the followers of Jesus Christ. And you, are, you know he has done a lot for us as his followers. In this world that we are living, there are many things that can make us be discouraged. There are things that can make us feel that we are worried. Like when you count of what happened in the year 2020, when you look back of what happened in the year 2021, many of us may be filled with the worry, with uncertainty. There are some of us here who are working and now they are not working. There are some of us here who are in good businesses and they don't have good businesses. There are some of us who are in many good plans for the year, either the year 2020, and they did not accomplish what they had planned to do. When they get to the year 2021, they were not even able to do what they had said they want to do. There are some of us who are in school, they were even not able to complete the school, but they are still at home. But the Bible is giving us a very encouraging one today, that we should seek first the kingdom of God, no matter what is happening in the world, no matter what the uncertainty that you witness in the world, we are being told not to worry about everything, but to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto us. Amen? 
I want us to have an assurance that regardless of what has happened in the world, regardless of the loss that we have lost, there is somebody who is assuring us that when we seek his kingdom, when we seek his presence, things are going to be added unto us. One as if you were. They are not going to be subtracted. They are going to be added. One as if you were. I want to imagine the loss that you have encountered. Many things that you have desired to do and you have not been able to do. One thing I want to assure you this morning that this God that you are being told to trust he is never late. And God is never late. Situations may change the way they have changed. The weather may change the way they have changed. Things may come like the way they have come without even our awareness. But the one thing that you are being assured this morning that when you seek his kingdom all things shall be added unto us. Can you shout amen? Amen. Because when we trust in God, when we put our confidence in him, when we are able to draw near unto him, good things are going to be added unto us. Then I asked myself, why then should we seek the kingdom of God? And not other kingdom, because the other kingdoms, the kingdom of rich people, there is also the kingdom of the devil, there is also the kingdom of the unknown. But you are being told to seek first this kingdom. Because when you seek the kingdom of God, there is provision. He provides for us. Because our God is the provider. When you seek the kingdom of God, there is protection. And our desire for all of us is to be protected. God give us the assurance of caring. Our emotions. God takes all over. When you seek the kingdom of God, before other things, we make a preference. And we make God number one. And when we make God number one in our life, it, may, it means that he acts on our behalf. When you totally depend on him, he comes and acts. He comes and acts for us. He comes and he moves other things that you are finding very difficult in our lives. Therefore, my brethren, as we begin the year, as we look for the unknown, because we don't know what may happen in the year, one of the things that I want to encourage you is to engrave yourself with the kingdom essentials, the kingdom of God. Be equipped with the kingdom of God. And then I ask myself, if you are going to be equipped with the kingdom of God essentials, what are these things that God wants us to be equipped with? As we continue seeking for the kingdom of God, we need to be prayer warriors. Prayer becomes one of, part and parcel of all of us as Christians. Let us not get tired of coming to church. Let us not get tired of even praying, opening up our mouth and shouting and proclaiming of God's goodness. Let us not get tired of even communicating with our God. He has told us when he seeks the kingdom, all other things will be handed unto us. That means that even when we are in need, we need to present them before the Lord. When you don't know about the unknown, we need to draw closer to God. Therefore, prayer becomes an item for us as we seek God's kingdom. And this is an intensive prayer. Wakatuni wakutafuta kuomba na kuomba sana. Maybe not the way you used to pray, but God wants you to grow deeper in a relationship with prayers. Number two, when you continue seeking for the kingdom of God, another thing that you may need to think about is growing in the world. I remember when I was sharing with you, if it is not, I'm not wrong, it was last year, we shared about the world of God being a lamp and a light to our path. Nobody can enlighten us. Young people as you gather, young people as you come to church, young people as you interact with the outside world, one of the ingredients that can make you to have a solid foundation 
it is you being engraved with the word of God. Let you become a friend to your Bible. Let it not be a stranger to you. Because at times you have seen people using the Bible, they are fearing even, even to open and read. Many of you, even I, if I ask you this morning, how many of you have carried their Bibles? You see some people came to church, they just came with nothing. And I want to tell you this is a weapon. We as Christians, in Islam, it is a weapon for our faith. Let us develop a character of having our Bible, reading our Bible, getting a text from the Bible that can read us throughout the day. And if you are not able to get it for the, the one for the day, we can also get the one for the week. We can develop a one for the month. And I want to encourage because many of you are telling me, we are very young. Pastor, we are very young. That is done by parent. That is done by grown up. You can develop that at this age. Even those who are in business, you can carry your Bible. You go with it at your, your, your premises. You put it somewhere and you read the one. Let the Bible be part and parcel of your life as you continue seeking one's kingdom. You cannot understand kingdoms exchanges if you are not fully involved of what is written in the, in the Bible. You look at the parliamentarians. When you look at our parliamentarians, when they are bringing the motions in the parliament, you see, you hear them quoting chapter this, section this, place this. It means that they know what they are doing. Suppose you take a, somebody, they yeah, understand to know even about the laws of Kenya, the constitution of Kenya. It means that they have to be an engraved to understand the constitution so that whenever they open up their mouth, they speak of what is in the contents of the constitution. Likewise to us Christians, young as we are, let us be engraved with the word of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We seek the kingdom of God and all other things are going to be added unto us. And then number three, there is that connection. When you seek the kingdom of God, when you become a prayer warrior, when you became engraved with the word of God, the connection is very, very important for us in the fellowship. The, I think this is why you get the fellowship. You cannot just stay like that, then you see you want to grow. The kingdom essentials require us to be connected with one another. That is why it is always important to have the fellowship. That is why we come to church. We are not complete when we are alone. Even the Bible tells us, don't forget the fellowship of believers. In this kingdom, fellowship is very, very important. Therefore, I want to want you to be connected in the fellowships. Like the way you have come today, it's a fellowship. Like the way you gather as a youth, in the fellowship. Like the way you gather in the district, it's a fellowship. You gather in the association groups, it's a fellowship. It is very, very, very important for you to grow. Seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and no other things shall be handed unto you. Are you all in about your, the future? Are you all in about the years that have passed? Remember, I remember one day I was, this is, was on Thursday, we visited one of our members who has been sick for some time. And when you are, you are sharing the testimonies that God has done to us, regardless of this pandemic, she, was not, she has not been able to come to church because she has not been feeling well. And then I decided now on last day, I need to take the fellowship to, to her in the family. We were sharing the word of God. And I don't know why we, we, we thank God because regardless of what has happened, regardless of many negatives that have happened, one thing that you can thank God for as Kesarian, we thank God because God is, like, is raising up people. To me, I want to work in the Mungu Wakati wa Ua Corona. And you are very grateful that even those who are sick, you have seen them waking up and starting to walk. And I remember we, we said even we were able to, to baptize children. 
And then she looked at me. Said, you are able to baptize even children. I thought that you know when, he, when he's deciding to, to baptize young children, we are under a total of 39. And then I, I saw, I see her smiling. Why did she smile? She smiled because she knew there is hope beyond what you are experiencing. Experiencing regardless of what is happening in the world, regardless of the encounter that you have encountered, we have seen God sustaining us. Therefore, we need to stay connected and connected with one another. I want you to become an evangelist. And how do I initiate you to become an evangelist? It is for you to start now spreading the word of God to other people. When you open your phone, you can, it is very easy for you to become an evangelist. You can open because it is sharing the word of God with addressing to people. Through your phone, purpose, that every week, you can witness to one person. A youth member of your age, a mother of your age, a father of your age. And next time when you gather, at the end of, after sometimes, you see, as you continue witnessing them, even encouraging them to come to church, you see a very big indifference. Let us stay connected in this kingdom essentials. And number four is always good to forgive. Forgiveness is the key. We seek the kingdom of God. And all other things are going to be added unto us. And even if you are carrying a baggage of unforgiveness, it is always good to forgive people. It doesn't matter what they say about you. Forgive them. And release yourself at the will of God. It doesn't matter their disappointment. I remember one of the things I was singing, I was young, managed to organize a, a wedding. And when it was almost to get married, the person was to marry him, marry her, decided to say, no, I, I'm not prepared, and they had done everything. And this thing, I was very discouraged. In that discouragement, God gave, him, gave her a song, and that song became the song of the year, when I see you. I remember another, not even one singer, if you listen to gospel music, if you listen to the testimonies behind, you may hear, regardless of the situation, God can also plant a seed. And that seed can germinate. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter. Release yourself to the will of God. And you see that seed sprouting up. I remember another singer also. She was very good in singing. They were singing in a group. And they would, they would sing together as a group. And the group was invited to go and lay on the song. And then they were, they were going to lay on the song. Because of the, the, the hatred, because of the jealousy, because of this one singer, they decided to see and told the people that no, no tomorrow, we are going to lay on the song. You know tomorrow, you are going to see us on the TV, recording the song. You, you see us doing this. And then she was left behind. He said, ah, we don't want to go with this one because when you go with us, you will shine more than us. And there she was left behind. Imagine you, are, you have told your people, look, you will be watching me on TV. And then they look at the group that is on the TV. You are not there. How can you explain to them? To them? And then she, when she was just disappointed on what, what had, had happened, the song came, Naona Mbingu Sikifunguka. You remember, you remember that song? The singer who sang that song. The song came in, when they are in the, when they are on the TV. See, God is also giving a song. Naona Mbingu Sikifunguka. You remember that song? A very powerful song. That is how in God that song. Even you today, God can give you something. In that moment of disappointment, in that moment of need, in that moment of discouragement, in that time of emptiness, don't turn to drugs. Thinking that you are going to fail. Allow God's kingdom to come and dwell in you, and that things will be added unto you. It doesn't matter what they have seen, it doesn't matter what they have planned for you. Let him be a part of the kingdom extension. Forgive them and move forward. Then number five, you have to make choices for your life. Choice is very important because as you seek the kingdom of God and other things are be added unto us, we have also to have the choices of our life. How do we live? 
Maisha yetu iko namna gani? You know you be mix up you know sometimes we are you have seen people mixing up themselves. See hivyo. You want to be part of the kingdom. You don't want to come fully to be part of this kingdom. But you want to be seeking other kingdoms. Today I want to encourage you. I want to want you when you come and be part of the kingdom. Surrender yourself to the light living. Surrender yourself to the light choices. Young girls who are here, let a no be no, and a yes be yes. Young men who are here, let a yes be yes, and a no be no. Stand firm, and when you stand firm in this kingdom, you witness the deliverance of the Lord. One as if you. But when you mix up yourself, here you are in the church, in the evening you are in other. Hey, you have lent us in a very powerful worship. And that is good. And I know there's somebody who said also, choices have consequences. Whatever you choose to do, there are consequences. And those of you are here and they are young, go back to school. You are not late. Do a career. Do something, anything. Have a certificate. See, dear evil. Usika na muna iyo se me akwamba na. By the way, I'm old. You are not old. Even at the fifth, you can go back to school and do something. Can go back to class. Niki angali ya inja nelesho ni enuwa lo kwa katika kanu saidi. One day I decided to go to school. Did I tell you the story the other day? When I decided to go to school, I thought at that time I thought I was very old. I was around that, it was not that, that five. I said I will go back to school. And I was feeling that I'm very old. I don't, know, I don't want to go to school. And I took up my, I encouraged myself to go to school. When I went there, I got shocked. I realized I was the youngest. <laughs> you know, I said I'm very old. I found people who are retired. People who are money. People who are worked. People who have everything, they are back to school. They ask myself, what are they coming back to school to do? They have everything. Maybe yourself, you are saying you are very old. You are not old. I want to turn to your neighbor and be you are not old. You are not old. Is it evil? You can do something. Is it evil? Don't get discouraged. Because you were able to 2020, it did not work. 2021, it didn't work. Even 2022, it will not work. It is going to work because you are kingdom messenger. One as if you Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Another thing shall be added unto you. Move like I told you the other time, move. Not just stay in that surroundings. If whatever you want to do is not comfortable at the Kesedian, so you can also move to Kalen. So you can also go to Ngongrund. So you can also go to town. So you can also go to Kajandu. So you can go to Kutegela and even Ongatalongai. Maybe whatever God is planning for you in this kingdom is not in Kesarian. Maybe when you are in inheritance is not in Kesarian. It is somewhere else. If you are young, move. And when you move, don't move alone. Move with God. One as if you seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be under unto you. Shall we rise up and pray? Father, we want to thank you this morning. Because it is in your kingdom that you get strength, that you get probation, that you get care, that you get encouragement. We want to pray that you may help us to differentiate between the kingdom of this world and your kingdom. We want to pray that you may engrave each one of us this morning with your kingdom extensions. That you may be able to stand and wait for you. That you may be able to walk with you. That you may be able to witness about your goodness. Thank you because you love each one of us. And that's why you have gathered in this house this morning to surrender back unto you at the beginning of the year. Father, help us to discern, to seek more of your kingdom. And other things shall be added unto us. Whatever you have planned for us, O Jabba King of Glory, we are praying that you may 
and invasion it for us. So that when we see it, when we embrace it, we will be able to be blessed of you. Walk with each one of us. Walk with each family in the backing of glory, which is presented this morning. We walk with each youth who is in this congregation. Walk with each mother who is in this congregation. Walk with each father who is presented in this gathering today. And the father, I want to present all their needs in your holy arms, your backing of glory. Because in your arms, you care, your backing of glory. Whatever they are desiring to do for the year 2022, I want to claim it that, Father, it is going to happen. Because they are not going to do it on their own. They are going to do it with you, the King of Glory. You have promised them to leave everything else and they seek your kingdom. And when they are seeking this kingdom, the King of Glory, it means you are going to meet the desires of the earth. Therefore, I want to release them unto your arm that you may do good things. For this is the prayer of faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May you remain blessed as you seek the kingdom essentials. Thank you, our ref, for the word. This time we are going to give our offering. time for announcements. Visitors today. But again, it happened now again. Neither it's Mama too to send him here. If none, thank you all for commuting to a sanctuary. We love you. Uh, before we continue, I'd like to welcome Mrs. Wambugu at Salimia to make a report here.
and the hardships that we face, I know that Jesus is with me. He's in the boat and my boat will not capsize. Amen? I love to draw my attention to Peter. The story of Peter when he was in the boat. There were 12 disciples, is it? But only Peter made a choice to come out of the boat. Many of the times that we choose to stay in our comfort zone, as our reverend has told us. But I want you to draw a lesson from Peter, that from the 12 disciples, Peter chose to jump out from the boat and seek what was in the water, to walk on the water. Even when his faith was shaken, Jesus was at the was right there to hold his hand, so he did not capsize. So what I want to tell you today is that no matter where you are, do not stay in your comfort zone. Usikubali kuka kwa boat. Step out of the boat in faith. That no matter the shake-up, no matter the storm, Jesus is right there to hold your hand. Amen? So today, as you have been taught by our reverend, she has told us not to stay at, just at the circle. And today I'm here to confirm that word. Do not just stay on the boat. Amen. Choose to be the Peter. Mm -hmm. Choose to walk on water. Because Jesus will not allow you to sink. Hallelujah. Amen. Be, be courageous. Make a choice. Make a choice to shine. This life is about you making a choice. There are so many discouragements happening around us. But if you make that one choice, it might be the beginning of your, of your future. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll keep on coming. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Uh, now to our announcements. Neema, uh, member of Baki. Bada ya kiswahili na kikuyu service. Baraka tukutane kwa daktari gazogo bada ya kikuyu service. And then, how many were born in January? By show of hands. How many are blessing of January? Nini wata ni blessing ya January? Then the church has something good for you. Tunajulisho tuna wa kwamba, tuta celebrate members wetu wote, walio zaliwa ya January 1st, Mbaka 31st, wawe ni waze ama watoto. Hii itafanyika tarehe 23rd January. E, kwanza tupigie church makofi. <laughs> City something good. Yes, to be recognized. Yes. E, he. So, mnaombo wa mtayarisha sadaka ya shukrani. Yani all of us. Uh, Thanksgiving token. Ne kwa ajili ya iyo siku. Mutapatiwa bahasha. You'll be given bahashas. Eh, by the end of the service, tutawapatia bahashas zata uko inje. Mkitaka ta in between the week, you can come get a bahasha. And for those celebrating your birthday, get out of your comfort zone. Mpande ataka ni mbegu ya i January, so that 2022 goes with God. Sindio? Yes. And then, eh, all our youths from Sunday, on Sunday, the same 23rd, we'll have an open forum. Nani ya shikuwa kwa open forum ya youth? By show of hands. Hamjoi kwa kwa open forum ya youth? Have zenye zina kwanga uko chini? Hakuna mwenye ya shikuwa? Ispoku hawa? Anyway, you'll be lucky to be part of our open forum. You come, uh, most of our agendas will be as youth. Then there will be the youth week and more and more and more. So make sure you come, you experience something, you listen to something, then God will bless you. Sindio? And also we usually have our Wednesday fellowships that start from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Uh, you are all welcome. Zina kwanga hapa tu church, PCA Kiserian. And we really need praise and worshipers. We really need youths. We are warriors. Remember we are prayer warriors. Let us rise up. 
tuamke from our comfort zone tukuje this church belongs to us not only on sunday it belongs to us each and every day sindio so let us come uko unajua mlango gani inafunguliangwa gani inakonga imefungwa because right now nikichagua mtu mmoja nimuuliza ni mlango gani na kwa imefungwa during the week they don't know yanajua zote zinakuwa zimefunguliwa on sa on sunday so come know your church just stop knowing it juju kuja ujue strongholds zake za ndani ndani and on sunday our services usually start at 8 am 8 am sawa so you are all welcome eh na tukuje mapema let us involve ourselves in praise and worship eh tunataka watu wa kusaidianga kuongoza hapa you know you have talent and it begins from somewhere so tukwe tunajaribu kuamka mapema vile tunamkanga tukienda job tukienda shule tukuje we work for god be blessed i'm sorry i have one more thing uh, if you mkona daily book daily bread this this is a book we are selling at only 400 shillings it's a daily bread it can guide you in your prayers in knowing christ more so we are supporting our elder robert muthui uh, so if you're interested it's only 400 shillings and there's a little paper and mpesa uh, you can see me be blessed Thank you. Thank you all. And God bless you. This time I'm going to give to the reverend. Uh, most everlasting Father, we release our servant to your hands this morning so that as we start the rest of the week you will be with us on the king of glory and that you will be in tune with your Holy Spirit to be kingdom seekers rather than seeking things of this world. And therefore, since we have come to the closure of this service of today, I want to present this dear ones into your holy arms that you may walk with them. And the peace of the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit continue guiding them, continue inspiring them, continue walking with them, so that you may know that you are the Lord who saved them and the Lord that you desire to live with forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.